Good day, one and all. Thank you for joining us here at WSKI TV 17. All year round, you can see our forecast for the main High Peaks region at our website, WSKITV.com, so you can know before you go. Outside Real Estate brings you the weather for Saturday, and it's not looking the best. We do expect to get a couple inches of snow, one to three, but then sleet or glazing happening, which is not great for anybody who wants to be on the hill, obviously, or on the roadways for that matter. Temperatures up top 28 to 32, so we're hoping it will stay mainly white up on the hill. On Sunday, those temperatures will drop, and whatever wet precip we have will turn over to flurries. We'll see 40 to 44 at the base at the start of the day, but that will be falling, and 33 to 37 up top also falling throughout the day. On Monday, back to more regular temperatures with partly sunny skies, 39 at the bottom of the mountain and 23 at the summit. Tuesday, partly sunny again, 33 at the base and 19 up top. So that will slow the melting up. And on Wednesday, mostly sunny, a beautiful day, 40 degrees at the base and 26 up top. Ah, yes, spring has sprung. There's no doubt about that. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions for Saturday. We have now flipped the switch, and we're looking at corn snow, wet snow. Check out Gage. We have the Nationals kicking off on Monday. So excited to have so many speed skiers in town. 8 o'clock start for Snubber on Saturday morning. 8.30 for Skidway and Sawduster. 8 o'clock for West Mountain. 8.30 for a Super Quad Skyline Double Runner. And 9 o'clock for Timberline. Hopefully winds don't look to be an issue. 8.30 also on the east side for King Pine and Wiffle Tree start up on Saturday morning. They will do grooming second shift only, so that limits it a bit. Timberline, bridal chain, tow, kings, comp, spillway, sluice on the list tonight, as well as all the trails down here in the flats. On the east side, Widowmaker, Flume, Ramdown, Wiffletree, Two Hall, Slasher, and Cruiser on the list, Scoot, Windrow, and West Mountain on the west side. You better call ahead or check Trail Hub to see what the conditions will be in the morning, or you can watch our live show. We'll call them up and find out in real time what's happening at the Outdoor Center with conditions changing so quickly these days. For the time being, skip the fat biking. If it is too not nice outside, why not head to the AGC? Always a ton of fun to be had there for all ages, or the Sports and Fitness Center. Same thing applies there, plus there's a real cool cafe at the Sports and Fitness Center. Main Ski and Snowboard Museum is a perfect thing to do on a not-so-great day on the hill. Stop by and check them out where the old chicken center used to be at the rack at the bottom of the access road. It's the Always Sometimes Trio kicking off at 9.30. And remember that Flagstaff General Store, if you live in downtown Stratton, you can get delivery for free. Not too much further away for a little bit of a fee from Flagstaff General Store. Great service being added there. And Trails End invites you for music. On Saturday night, it is Robin in the Hood. Plenty of action going on. No matter what the weather is doing, be sure to tune into our live show in the morning and we can tell you what's happening on the hill and off. So whatever your experience here, it will be improved by watching and listening to the information we give you here exclusively on WSKI, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, also ways we keep you in touch. We are the insiders on the outside around here. Independently owned and operated since 1986 by Snowfields Productions.